By the way, there's a very, very tough district in Nebraska that covers most of Omaha. Previously was a Democrat district with a Democrat congressman. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a Republican in that seat right now. His name is Don Bacon. He's got a primary challenger. I think the guy works at a bank or was a marketer or somebody like that. Challenge him, he claims, from the right. I don't know what that means. I think he's an isolationist. I don't really care. Bacon has been very solid. It is a district that goes 10 points for Biden. 10 points for Biden. And Bacon, that's a tough district. He's a former general. I've met him, spoken with him. He's not one of these liberal Republicans, although there are liberal Republicans. There's some issues that I might disagree with him on. But we need that seat. And so I'm going to endorse Don Bacon for the second congressional district in Nebraska and hope we can hold that seat. They used to belong to a Democrat and leans heavy blue for Biden. Like I say, he's not some radical liberal. On the other hand, he's not an isolationist. I've had it up to here with the isolationists. They're going to get us into World War III. Just as they helped get us into World War II. Oh, they sure as hell did. I'm not into these radical isolationists and libertarians. I'm a constitutional conservative. That's what I am. That's what I've always been. And if that means going against the flow, then by God, I go against the flow. But I think I speak for most of you. The vast majority of you. I don't side with the terrorists against Israel. I don't side with Russia against Ukraine. I don't side with communist China against anybody. Period. Don Bacon for Congress, Nebraska, 2nd District.